Today I want to talk about the Rock of Brawl. Now, the original Spelljammer set came with this map of it, but and only gave you a little bit of detail of it. It's a city in space, uh, basically an inhabited space asteroid, which you can use as a port of call, a place to ha have adventures start. And here's a map showing. Uh, it's divided according to how far above the gravity plane it is. There's the low city, the high city, and then there's Prince Andrew's castle. On the bottom side, there's a naval base, there's some caverns, there's even an underdark inside this place. Uh, there's a lake, which according to this map, it's down a hole, very deep. It, this, the surface map doesn't make it clear that it's a long, long way down to that lake. Okay, so they came out with a full book on the Rock of Brawl. Now, for me, this is, you know, it's a gazetteer of the Rock of Brawl. And for me, these things, I did for a brief time buy into this and character, but learning vast detail on a made up world is very difficult for me. It's easier if I created the world, but when somebody else created, learning all these details about the world is difficult. So, and I'm going to show you some of the pictures involved in it. But it tells you, let's go back and see, tells you some about the history of the rock, what life is like on Sprawl, um, the politics, some of the different groups, and some more things. There's a, a price list for things you might buy on Brawl. There's some really good artwork in here. Here it shows an example of bombards that are placed on the rock to defend it. So here's a couple of wasp ships. Okay, so Prince Andrew himself is a fourth level wizard. So. Now he's got some bodyguards for fourth level fighters. That seems kind of low level considering how high level you need to be in order to make a spell jamming helm. So. Really good pictures, though. So it goes into politics here. There's more good pictures. And there's a council of captains, envoys, emissaries. Uh, there's different societies like the Pragmatic Order of Thought is open to, for good magic users, the Tenth Pit, the Seekers. There are some Thieves Guilds, including an Asian one, the Shao Thieves Guild, which is basically a Yakuza Guild, which is slightly different than the Standard Thief. Uh, I would assume you'd have to alter the investigability to account for the Rocker Brawl. Here it lists all the different organizations and which ones like each other. That's a little bar scene. One of the bartenders on Brawl is a beholder who has traveled to the top of Hecath and therefore knows everything. So he's a good source of information. His name is Large Luigi. I have to think that JMS, when he created Babylon 5, the year that this came out, he, he must have looked at Spelljammer and inspired things because 
You know, this is a, a port in space five miles long. Um, it's called Brawl, and the person who controlled the great machine was called Drawl in Babylon 5. So I have to think that he must have looked at it at some point, but in the Babylon 5 role-playing game, he denied having ever looked at a role-playing game ever. I think more recently he's talked about having something to do with role-playing games, but I'm not sure he's a regular player. If he is, I'm not sure he's out of the game closet. Yeah, so there's a Hal Dunsey, typical merchant house, another street scene, a lot of art in this. There's dungeon. I think I saw that picture earlier. Here's the space docks. Yeah, so when you first start off, you probably start with a sailing ship that has a helm attached to it, so it can land on water. Some of these ships can land on land because they have feet, and some of them can't land on anything. They're only for going to space docks. Yeah, treasure map. repeating this one piece of art here. Oh look, there's a cuddle ship in the background. Oh, look, look at this. The Fall 92 Winter Catalog. So it's to give you some idea about what products this was contemporaneous with. I wish I'd grabbed a copy of The Mighty Fortress when it was new. That wasn't interested in the early modern period at the time. Okay, so here's Spelljammer products that were contemporaneous with it. There were some novels. Some of these never saw in the store. Anyway, back to the Rock of Brawl. So the docking caverns, there's docks and then there's caves. And as is seen here, there are, there's some docks and landing caverns. And the Citadel is an interesting thing that castles are different in space. Building a wall around something doesn't keep a spaceship out, so what you build instead are towers. And the purpose of walls is to connect the towers and make it so you don't have to go all the way down to the ground floor to get into the tower. So let's build these towers and then set up a crossfire of any ship that goes between them. like thieves and a knight there. There, there are lots of wizards on this port. Lots of clerics, different religions. There's a cleric being robbed by a jester. One of the rogues guild is the, the juggler. Guessing they're thief acrobats, which was a thing in first edition. And this is rules on how to use the 
rock for space combat. In case somebody attacks it. And a little advertisement for a novel and a spell jammer. Okay, so this is the map that originally came with the Spelljammer box set. But, but this is the map that came with this book. So here's a map showing you the different districts on Brawl, which if you're playing a Yakuza would be relevant to your investigate ability. There's quite a lot of numbered locations. Here's the, the top surface. There, I don't show a side view, and, but there is a map of the bottom side, which is mostly agricultural, but there's some castles there. And the X made a picture of a section of this. Show that off. Yeah, she did it on the computer, and I took a photograph of it. And that hard drive has died. And after we broke up, I'm sure she threw the hard drive away with all the artwork that was on it. And in the Skull and Crossbows module, there was this poster that I forgot to show. It has some floor plans of ships, which are on the only slightly different from the ones that come with the um, with the box set. Mind Spider, this particular one that's slightly modified. Here's Nautiloid, a particular Nautiloid. A Dragonfly, a Hammer Ship. The squid ship. This one's modified so that giants can more easily use it. So it has fewer decks. But there were some ships that were not in the box set, like this one. There was never a picture or floor plan of the Viking drop tower. And there was this ship, the Leaf ship, which is a semi aircraft carrier. It holds these Thorn ships, which are smaller ships. These are the Thrycreen chips, so I just thought I'd show that to you now. So, there we have it. The Rock of Brawl.